Ilgato started out as your solo project, correct? Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about when you decided to take it from being a solo project and, and sort of flesh it out as a full band and what brought you to that decision? It, it really slowly it, like evolved into a band. A lot of the people I liked were of collectives and I liked the idea of a collective. And so it was just like my friends uh, initially and you know, like whoever was available, I'd be like, hey, I'm having a show, you wanna play? And so then we would have shows, but like what gradually I guess happened from that is that those people like became like lawyers and teachers and like people who really couldn't commit a lot of time. So then we're all of a sudden having shows where you like had one or two practices and it was like, well, <laughs> maybe if I'm more serious about this, we should kind of do something more official. And so that's where it kind of was like, all right, time to focus and pull in people who are like equally involved and um, really excited about like the evolution of the project and able to commit. And so why don't you each tell us a little bit about how you wound up in Elgato? I think you had just put out a solo album called Conversation Music, which was like really spooky and lots of kind of echoey effects. And he attempted to play the trumpet. Um, My middle school trumpet. And um, it was uh, it was fascinating altogether. I, I was was really into the kind of um, experimental element that he brought into to that. We started playing in my kitchen, um, my in my room. tiny little apartment on Oak Street, um, with brushes, and uh, we kind of built a sound uh, like that. It was just kind of like acoustic style with a, with a, just a trumpet, Matthew on the trumpet doing backup vocals. Um, and uh, it sounded really good. Uh, I uh, think I met Damien at a bar in the Mission District one night, and, uh, and I just so happened to have decent rhythm. And you know, two weeks later, I think I was playing a gig with him. So It was a little more personal than that. <laughs> you were, uh, I guess uh, your girlfriend was friends with my girlfriend at the time. So it wasn't That's just true. random we met at a bar. It was an email of an email of an email, 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 someone uh, that... Um, that had me meet you to record your album. And then I started playing with you guys in the summer. And it's been love ever since. You guys were um, the Delhi's uh, Artist of the Month mm -hmm. for December. Um, and you went out kind of last minute, real close call between you and Combrio. What did you do to get your fans to get out to the website and vote for you? How did you encourage them to do that? I guess we initially kind of like were putting it on Facebook and kind of kind of talking to people, and then um, you know it started being like friends, and then friends of friends, and then like friends from like high school that I haven't talked to since high school. You know what, what Facebook is. My wife's sister, um, who lives in Chile, my wife's Chilean. Um, she just kind of uh, took it on as a, an obsessive kind of thing that she was doing was uh, getting as many votes for us as possible, talking to all of her friends. She said she got us uh, like a hundred votes, um, you know, and that definitely, you know, helped out a lot. Yeah. So what does that win mean for you guys? What does that entail? I guess what I, we eventually found out that we get a day of whatever we want to do at the studio, which is awesome because I guess this album that we recorded, um, as we tracked it, like, you know, it's expensive to kind of, you know, like do things at a certain level, but you kind of have to do things at a certain level to play college radio or play kind of anywhere like that. And so we tried to kind of do it as cheap as possible. And so what that meant was we like tracked everything live and had to do it like incredibly quick. And that's not <laughs> what I would normally recommend because it's like you have to sacrifice so many things for it. And so it was like right. really kind of like difficult process where we like should have probably done three or four songs, but we did like 18 or something. And so now um, we have an EP that's kind of like uh, like in tandem with the album that we just put out that now we'll be able to kind of like do the rest of the things with the use of that time. So it's, and it's when, a great, great, great honor. When do you expect that to come out? Uh, albums take a long time. Yeah, for sure. They <laughs> do. Uh, but so hopefully, hopefully summer. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much again yeah. for coming out tonight. Thanks for tuning in, you guys, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Take it easy.